Ray of Hope. Thanks, Alex. It's now 548. Time to get another check on our Saturday morning forecast. Zane looks like it starts to see a little bit of daylight out there, but that means temperatures slowly going to rise as well. They are going to rise, of course. Yeah, and they're already pretty high outside mm -hmm. here early on this morning. Nicole, temperatures didn't cool down much overnight as expected when you have this much humidity in the air. Low 70s in most spots around central Iowa. A little bit more comfortable as you head are far off to the east where there's some 60s over by the Mississippi River, but uh, that's not going to be in our neck of the woods here today. We're going to be getting up closer to 90 degrees again towards this afternoon. Decent amount of sunshine as well. Skies are going to be mostly dry. It's just going to feel kind of soupy out there tomorrow. Similar. And then we've got our next chance of some storms as we head towards Sunday night. That's the main window of rainfall we're looking at because otherwise it's a lot of heat in the forecast into next week. We're going to be hot for several days. The high temperatures here are in white into next week. A lot of 90s and we're going to actually ramp those numbers up into probably the mid 90s for afternoon highs. Add in the humidity that's going to be with us too. And we're looking at at least a few days where it'll feel like 100 plus, especially next Tuesday. Wednesday is probably going to be the peak of the heat right now. Sky wise, though, we're pretty quiet. There are some patches of some fog. The satellite can't quite see yet because the sun's not up just enough in parts of north central Iowa. It's not super thick, but there are at least a little bit of reduced visibilities that will lift here as we head through the morning. Sunshine will take hold. There's your these are going to be your heat index values here on the map towards the lower 90s as soon as lunchtime. So we've got several hours of that sort of heat into the afternoon. The cloud cover that comes into southeastern Iowa is a weak little system that's going to pass through that part of the state here as we head towards tonight. That's the best location. Let's say eastern third of Iowa for maybe an isolated shower into the evening hours. Otherwise, most of us will stay dry tomorrow morning. Then we've got again a few more areas of some fog just because we don't have a ton of wind. There's a lot of moisture in the air, so you're going to have some fog at times in the mornings and then that lifts by the afternoon back to the middle 90s for feels like temperatures. This is tomorrow afternoon. Decent amount of sunshine once again, and then watch as we head towards tomorrow night. We're dry into the first part of your Sunday evening, and then late Sunday night, our next system moves on in. This one looks more likely to bring us some scattered thunderstorms late Sunday night and into the wee hours of Monday morning. Doesn't look like we'll have a lot of severe weather, maybe one or two stronger cells, but that's the best chance of rain. Otherwise, we're going to be getting hot and steamy into next week. There's all those 90s for the middle part of the work week. Slim chance of rain Wednesday and Thursday.